Hi. So, in this video, we're going to prepare our first document and just one merge field on that document. We have provided a basic template with some merge fields or without if you want to use your own. Uh, and the document looks like this. And the only merge field we're going to be looking at is this one down here owner underscore name. Now you'll notice all our merge fields have uh, square bracket, square bracket, exclamation mark. Uh, and the, the opposite at the other end. I happen to use a macro within Word uh, so that I don't have to type that. I use F2 and F3 for the start of a merge field and for the end. So first thing you're going to need to do within PDF Butler, once you've got it all set up, is create a new data source. So we've got an inbuilt Sockel builder uh, for you. Uh, Sockel queries give a lot of freedom but also uh, a lot of usability with our um, uh, our builder tool. So I'm going to call this Oppo for University Demo. Should look at the keyboard when I'm doing this, and you can see at the bottom here you can write your own Sockle queries, but you don't have to, as I'll show you in a second. Now this type is a single object, as we're just looking for uh, the data from the opportunity that we're going to be working on. So just a, a single object in this case, and another video will cover off uh, the list. So we've given it a name, and now we're going to use the builder. Now be aware if you are going to edit the Sockle query yourself, then uh, the API names are case sensitive. So just be careful when you're doing that. But to access the Sockle Builder, we've got this button top right. Now we're going to select the object that we want to select our fields from and put on the uh, document. We select opportunity, and then we're going to select a couple of different fields. Now you can select as many as you want and you can also go through relations. So I'm going to first of all, and it's good to use this as kind of a um, uh, kind of habit uh, to get into. Uh, let me just click there, get rid of that. Um, opportunity ID. This is going to allow us to filter on the opportunity ID later. But then as there's a lot of fields on this and there might be even more on your custom object perhaps, if I start typing, I can find the fields that I want. So I'm going to go for amount. I'm going to go for stage. And I'm going to go for an account name. Now you can see as you pick up account ID here, if I just added this, I'd get the usual kind of Salesforce record ID that would look something like that. I don't want that. I want the actual name. So if I press relation, then I can you can see that I've gone from opportunity to the the account that owns the opportunity and now I'm looking for account name and I can add that as well and I can go back same thing with the one we're actually going to put on this document which is owner name now it's called owner name on the um, on the document but in Salesforce the owner of an opportunity is actually on uh, through owner ID you actually then want to go through the relation and then you want to find uh, the name. Now you can see actually you are on the user object, but on the opportunity it is called uh, owner. So we'll pick up full name and this is going to be my name uh, that's going to go onto the document. Uh, and then if I go to filters, this is what we also need to add. So we want to pick up the opportunity ID. We want to say it's going to equal the record ID. So if you ever forget this, it's going to say this on the tips and tricks uh, on there. Adding that to the query, if we now review it, we can see we've got this where clause. So where ID equals record ID. All that's doing is saying, right, I only want the opportunity that I'm actually launching this from. And I'll show you how we launch that from a particular opportunity later. That's just filtering it down. So we're just using the, the, the one that we're launching from because we're not using automation for this. We're just saying I'm an op on an opportunity and I want to press a button. So I want the results to come from the one that I'm looking at. Okay. So that's all we need to do with the data source. We can save the query. If you do forget that field, you will get a little warning uh, about it as well, that little record ID uh, bit at the end, because otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to find all of your opportunities, which you, you probably don't want. If we now go to dot configs, then we're going to need to select a new one of these as well. So I'm going to select 
main Word document. I'm going to press next and I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to say uh, template for university demo. And again, spelling could be better. Now document title, this is the file name that's going to pop up. So I'll just call it file name for now. In another video, we're going to go over how you can put merge fields in here, uh, as you can see on the, the, the help uh, there. And the delivery options as well, where do you want this to save to once it's created? I'm going to choose base64. That means it's just going to preview. It's not going to save anywhere. And we also do have uh, another option with collaboration butler, maybe once you've got PDF butler set up and that links into your SharePoint or Google Drive so that we can save files there instead. So we've created the doc config and the way that we actually edit it now is with this custom link down the bottom here, open PDF butler. Now this takes care of all the logging in and anything else you might expect from something that's built on Salesforce. It's going to log us straight in and we can see we're now in the template for university demo with nothing uh, set up. Most of the kind of controls in here are set up for us. Um, the metadata, as you can see here, there's lots of other options that we go into in other videos. Uh, but the, the main thing that you're going to have to do before you can carry on is pick up the, the template of the file that you need. So I did I download that mm, document? No, I didn't. So we'll download that and we'll see I've downloaded that before. So if I go to choose this now and go to downloads, we can see I've got uh, that document that I downloaded today. If I press save to server, then what it's doing is it's going to look at that document and it's going to be able to use all the merge fields that are on that document. So now there's two things on the left that we're going to do. We're going to add a data source, which is the data source we did earlier on, oppo for university demo. And here are all the fields that we picked with that Sockle query. So we don't have to use them all. Um, you can also see on the right hand side here that it's picking up the type of field automatically because we use the Sockle Builder. So if you didn't, if you wrote this yourself, then you just have to come in here and say that the amount was a currency field, and that's going to allow you to obviously use the correct uh, currency locale depending on whatever uh, you want to do. So if you're going to use dollars all the time, great. If you're going to use euros, it's going to look right, and if it's going to be dependent on who you're sending it to, then it's important that we know that that's a currency field. So. Uh, that's the data source brought in and now we want to add what we call our config types and we're just again going to do a single field on this document and there's a little time saver here so it looks like you've got to fill in one two three four five boxes but if you don't fill in the name at the top and single is what we're going to do for this one then all I've got to click is data source I'm going to click oppo for university demo and then I'm going to select owner name as the Salesforce field that we want to go onto the document. And now the merge field, I've only got to type a few uh, letters and it'll pop up. What was it called? It was called something like owner name. Uh, so that's the one I need to pick. So I think I've clicked kind of three, I suppose. Yeah, single was already picked. I've clicked three options there, typed a couple of buttons, a couple of key presses. And now I'm ready to put my next field in, which if you use OK and new, it's quite useful because it's going to save that for me and open up a new one. But we're just going to do uh, one here and then we're going to press save to server. Now you can see I've got a green uh, one here. I've got zero orange uh, warnings and I've got no errors. If you did have any errors, if you perhaps picked the wrong uh, type, um, for a particular field, uh, then it would warn you here, perhaps if you've picked uh, a number type field for a text uh, type um, merge field, then it will give you warnings about how to fix that here, or it will give you errors if it's something you've got to fix before uh, you can go ahead. But that's it. That's all you need to do. And uh, now we need to launch that template somehow. So if I go to this opportunity, which I've got uh, here, you can see that I've already got the component setup. What you'll need to do is go to the edit page for whatever object you want to launch this from. And ours is opportunity. 
um, and then you need to pick one of our components now um, there's a couple of different components I'm just going to use the previewer one and drop that at the top here now we'll give it a subtitle just to show you how that works so we can distinguish it from the one underneath and now we need to tell it which dot config to retrieve now that dot config is the one that we edited earlier so if I open uh, another tab here I might edit this bit out in just a minute if I go to the dot configs here then the one we created is called template for university demo now there's two ways you can bring this in but I suggest using the customer document config ID so you would copy this the alternative is to use the record ID both give the same results but if you are gonna move from a sandbox to your production then this record ID will change this config ID will not so I'm copying that I'm now going to the edit page where I had my component and I paste this into here and you see if I click away from that box instantly you can see that you've picked the right one template for university demo press save your changes will be saved and now I can go back and I'm ready to see if we got the right results so the only thing that we changed was the uh, merge field for owner name so you can see all of these are going to be uh, still just merge fields but at the bottom here that's merged in my full name Michael Fox so that's all you need to do for this um, very first um, video uh, that you might have watched that should help you on your way and as I say it, that's going to be the same for any type of single field uh, on a single object and we're going to cover list objects and, and all, all the other kind of uh, features of PDF Butler as you go forward thanks for listening